Welcome to the Asia Africa Entrepreneurship Series. This is uh, Asia African Entrepreneurship Lecture. Today, I'm going to lecture on entrepreneurship mindset. My, I am a Jan Professor Huang Sun Fook. The details of my contacts are all below, my mobile number, my email, my Facebook, and my YouTube. This week, we are going to discuss on entrepreneurship mindset. And this is the, my particulars. Learning objectives. At the end of this lecture, participants will be able to understand how entrepreneurship assume assumption and create values in novel ways. We are, you will also be able to discuss what is mindset understand what is entrepreneurship, discuss the dimension and perspective of entrepreneurship, explain what is entrepreneurial mindset, and understand how to cultivate entrepreneurial mindset. Global Entrepreneurial Revolution In every nation, every industry, and every market, entrepreneurs are challenging existing assumptions and creating values in novel ways. The key word here is challenging existing assumption. In the business world, so much uncertainty. So entrepreneurs have to be able to challenge the existing assumption and then they create value in novel ways, in unique, innovative ways. These are some of the companies that has done well over the past decade. Now let's look at the 10 richest entrepreneur in March 18, 2000 during the COVID-19 pandemic. You can see that there are top 10 uh, uh, entrepreneurs. Top on the list, Jeff Bezos from Amazon. He has accumulated a wealth of US of 113 billion. The latest report just a few days ago shows that his, his wealth has gone up to 170 billion. Next is Bill Gates, Microsoft, 98 billion from the USA. Bernard Arnault from France, with 76 billion. Warren Buffett, Bashir, 68 billion. Larry Ellison from USA, Oracle, 59 billion US. Aman Kyo Otago from Spain, the owner of Zara, 55 billion. Mark Zuckerberg, USA, Facebook, 55 million. And followed by the Gene Watson, Alice Watson, and Rob Oxen, all from Walmart, with about 54 billion each. Now, let's look at the threat of the world's most successful richest entrepreneurs. I have list out 10 of them. Number one, they have a vision. Entrepreneurs have vision as to what they want to be. And they carry on the vision and they will just work towards their vision. Entrepreneurs also listen more than they speak. You notice that many entrepreneurs, successful entrepreneurs, they do not talk too much. In fact, they listen more than they talk. Entrepreneurs are ready to embrace failure. They are not afraid of failures. In fact, in business, the entrepreneurs try many ventures. All you need to do is some very successful ventures and then you, you make it. Entrepreneurs are extremely curious. They are curious. They travel. They read a lot. They see a lot. They meet a lot of people just to find out what they want to know. Entrepreneurs are determined to follow their passion. One of the important things in entrepreneurship is to follow your passion. You must have passion. Many, many people, many entrepreneurs, successful entrepreneurs, they are successful because they pursue their passion. And these passions, from passions, they commercialize it and they make a lot of wealth from that. And entrepreneurs also admit when they don't know anything. 
entrepreneurs are flexible and willing to learn from their mistakes. They are actually very humble. Entrepreneurs know how and when to say no. Sometimes in business, you must learn how to say no in order to safeguard yourself and also relationship with your the people that you, you, you conduct your business with. Entrepreneurs also know the importance of balance. Balance in their social life, in their work life, friendship, relationship, family relationship, employee relationship, shareholders relationship, and their partners. And finally, entrepreneurs know how to build a good team. You see, entrepreneurs have to be a leader. You know, by building teams, the more teams you build, the more ventures you can go about. So now let's come to the issue of what is a mindset. We all have mindset, yet often we are not consciously aware of it or the profound effect it has on our lives. Our mindset is the underlying mechanism that can expose opportunity and ignite our ambition. It can also engage our faculties in ways that enable us to flourish and thrive. So, positive mindset. So having positive mindset and good attitude will determine a lot about your life. If you set your mindset to the positive mode, you can go a long way to achieve your goals. So, be positive and not passive. Your mindset is an important as your best idea. Develop a good mindset and you make everything in your life better. Very often, your mindset determines your success. What you think is what you become. Now, on the other hand, what is negative mindset? Yet, our mindset can also blind us to opportunities and hinder our ability to learn and grow, keeping us restricted to familiar yet unproductive pattern of thought and action. Negative thinking causes people to find the worst in everything or reduce their expectation and thinking of the worst possible scenario. These are the pessimistic people. So let's discuss what is entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is about four things. Creating organization, it's about change, it's about innovation, and it is about wealth. So how do we define entrepreneurship? The word entrepreneur is derived from the French word entre, meaning between and predin, meaning to take. The word was originally used to describe people who take on the risk between buyers and sellers and who undertake a task such as starting a new venture. So the common terms of entrepreneurship include, I have listed down seven of them, starting and creating a new venture. You notice that entrepreneurs, they keep coming up with new ventures. Innovating or putting together a new combination of resources. You know, in entrepreneurship, you must be able to assemble your resources to the best use. Pursuing opportunity. Negative mindset, you will never find opportunities. Only those with positive mindset, they will go and look for opportunities. Acquiring the necessary resources. Resources are everywhere human resources, technological resources, financial resources, know-how, operation, procedure, process, people. All these are resources you need to acquire. Risk-taking, one of the important features of entrepreneurship. You need to take risks. They are also profit-seeking. You know, in entrepreneurship, it's about making profit, taking care of your stakeholders, like your employee, your shareholders, your family. And most important, 
entrepreneurship is about creating value. Value in terms of product, service, serving the needs of people. So there are, what are the dimensions of entrepreneurship? Entrepreneurship for, have three dimensions, three main dimensions that we always emphasize. First being the innovativeness. You know, today world, in order to, to be competitive, in order to do well in business, coming up with better product, quality product, you need innovativeness. You also need to take risks. Because in this business world, there are a lot of there are a lot of uncertainty, all kind of uncertainty. You know, during this COVID nineteen uh, pandemic, it shocked many businesses, and uh, you still need to take risk to encounter the current situation. And number three is proactiveness. You need to be proactive in business. You need to know or expect what is coming next and you must get ready before you get caught. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused a lot of difficulties to com companies. Those who were not proactive faced the bigger challenges and some of them even have to close down their business. So entrepreneurship and resources. An entrepreneur assembles and then integrate all the resources needed money, people, business model, strategy, risk-bearing ability to transform an in invention, an idea in the viable business. What are the perspectives of entrepreneurship? Creation of wealth, creation of enterprise, creation of innovation, creation of change, creation of jobs, creation of value and creation of growth. Entrepreneurship, in fact, creates many of these things. So now let's come to understand what is entrepreneurial mindset? It's, entrepreneurship mindset is the ability to change the future. It's within all of us. Yet, personal and social ambition hold many of us back and we never tap into our full potential as innovative thinkers. Entrepreneur mindset and behavior. An entrepreneur mindset is a set of beliefs, knowledge, thought processes that drives entrepreneurial behavior. The, be the difference between who you are and who you want to comes from your mindset. Once your change once you change your mindset, you will immediately start to change your behavior. So let's try to define what is entrepreneur mindset. The network for teaching entrepreneurship defines entrepreneur mindset as a set of attitudes. The attitudes that you have, the skill, skill that you possess, and the behavior that you conduct yourself. The student need to success, succeed academically, personally, and professionally. So what are the elements of entrepreneurial mindset? The entrepreneurial mindset will include the initiative and self-direction that you have. It will also include risk-taking ability. It will also include your flexibility and adaptability to the situation creativity and innovation coming up with better way of doing business, better product, higher quality product, critical thinking in, in solving problem, problem solving ability, seeking opportunities while others don't see it, and marshalling resources, assembling the resources that's surrounding you, and finally, it's about creating value. So, I would like to discuss about how do you cultivate the right entrepreneurial mindset. So first, make a development plan. Have an action plan what you want to achieve in your business, in your life. Then, 
find an accountability partner and mentor or coach to guide you, to check on you, to lead you. And remember to set checkpoints at periodical time to make sure you achieve certain, certain things according to your plan. And you must create a tracking template. To track your templates and make sure you are moving in the right direction. You must also know how to evaluate your progress. And finally, you got to repeat. A good entrepreneur doesn't sit on their laurels. And neither should you. You should continue the process indefinitely and watch yourself grow. So with this, I have covered the chapter, the lecture on entrepreneurial mindset. So thank you for watching. For more lectures, please subscribe to my YouTube, Huang Xin Fu. Thank you.